Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. VexFX must be some place where he's got a lot of mobs spawn spawned. Probably in this little mob farm. Interesting. Hi everybody, this is Theron, and we're going to play a little game called Let's Try and Figure Out an Episode to Record. I have no I have no plans here. I mean, I have a couple things I want to do, uh, but honestly, I, I don't have any, any plans. I need to get something uh, recorded so I can try and edit together something to get it released uh, because I'm, I've kind of run out of backlog of stuff. But hey, look, so little happening here. Ah, uh, one thing super cool is, where is my limit on this stuff? Oh, look at this. Yeah, so. One, two, three, four, five. This is super cool. Oh, look, I have new recipes. Yeah, whatever. Um, so the uh, 1.12 crafting, auto crafting stuff is unbelievably cool. Uh, because you just come here and do this and say show me this and show me the things that I can craft look at this sea lanterns hey hey and I need more more shards which I can do one two three four this would have taken so long before just because you're laying stuff out and having to drag things up one at a time and counting is a pain in the buttocks so this is super cool um, interesting so Let's, uh, I don't really need more sea lanterns, but I just, I like the crafting so much. I'm going to craft up some more. And then we're going to go to, I don't know, to the library and check out, see if there are any donations. So hang on a second and I'll be right back. Here we are at the library. Let's check. No new books. So I wonder if VexFX has gotten all the fish heads because he was donating a ton of books because he had a, he built a little AFK fishing farm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, got a donation. Two poisonous potatoes. Very nice. Okay, that's an awesome donation. Thank you, whoever put that in there. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, good. I just want to see if we had any donations and see if anyone's been using... Uh, somebody put a bunch of books in. That's that's very nice. Very cool. Hi. Okay, we'll leave. I don't know if you knew this, but if you hold down the shift key when you come in for a landing uh, on uh, Elytra, you you just stop. It's pretty cool. Now, if you you hit going too fast, of course, you're going to take damage. But it's a pretty cool way of landing on a very small little place. Uh, let me grab something here in my house. And I have a small little to-do list, but let's uh, let's go take care of that. I have so much sand over at the pyramid. Okay, I've got a lot of sand down here. I must have cooked a bunch into uh, into class. And I've got some gravel here um, that I've started. I, I made some storage like dedicated storage shulker boxes and we will grab some gravel out of this one and decided to make them brown I don't know if that's good or not and then here bone meal boop boop and now I can make white concrete powder and I guess this is shapeless because on the wiki it did sort of craft it up with these in the in the sides and the gravel in the corner or vice versa doesn't matter oh you get a bunch of it okay that's cool i need more storage space now for concrete powder i want to play with this a little bit i don't need quite this much so let me grab a shulker box an empty shulker box and let's put my concrete powder in there and i will keep a stack to play with because I want concrete. They changed the wool colors in 1.12, which 
which changed the carpet colors and I'm not sure I like this blue I'm gonna have to uh, play around and see if there's a different color blue this is light blue maybe I need to do regular blue they lighten up the colors which is fine uh, in general I like the new brighter colors so I need a space here to do some experimentation um, and there's a couple things I need to do in here yeah, I have nine villages in here, so there's one less than uh, is necessary for an iron golem. And I want to try something here. So if I put down, I brought some ice. Let's do this. Break it. Break it. Now, this is an infant spring right there, these three. So now, if I put down... I think if I put down the concrete powder here, it turns into concrete. Hmm. Huh. There's got to be a better way to do this. But let me make some uh, a bunch of concrete because this stuff, uh, it's I think might work for what I need. So, let me do this. So the concrete powder only has to touch water. It can be flowing. It can be adjacent to a block. So I can do a whole strip. If you pile it up, it just kind of falls in, which goes reasonably quick. It's not awesome, but it's uh, better than doing it one at a time. So now I have a stack of white concrete, which we will use in a moment. As soon as I can figure out where this torch came from. Bloop. Okay. Another poison potato. Yes. I love the poison potatoes. Hi. Hey guys, how are you? I don't know how this happened. I really don't. But it gives me a good opportunity to finish using this diamond hoe, which has exactly one durability on it left, which means... Oh. <laughs> okay, which means I need to, uh, let's trample it again. Okay, okay, take two. Gives me a good opportunity to use this diamond hoe, which has zero durability. It plays music. That's pretty cool. Hi, guys. Okay. Uh, you may notice I have a few villagers in minecarts here. Um, because a farmer, I need to figure out whether or not he's a good farmer. A wheat, 22 wheat trade is not awesome. This guy's a farmer with a 20 wheat trade, but his other trades are not so great. So I just need to get rid of him. And I don't know if I've shown this on camera before. I can show you how I do that. It's pretty straightforward. And then this guy is a librarian with a sharpness five trade for 27 emeralds, which is kind of freaking fantastic. Uh, I have a sharpness five villager, but he wants 60 emeralds for sharpness five. Nope, nope, wrong way, dude. You're gonna go this way. No, really, you're gonna go this way whether you want to or not. Go, go. Oops, don't get in his way. And then he comes down here. And through there, the minecart gets picked up and sent back and he gets pushed into a, into a pit of lava. It's far enough away from the, the village that they don't uh, get uh, to dismayed by the loss of one of their own so they will not stop a breeding as you can see the librarian dude wants to breed some more mine car comes back here hits this gets picked up by this and ends up back in here which is cool so it's a remote control uh, villager disposal system that is relatively relatively easy to deal with and I can I don't have to leave the village um, to to make it work I just send them on their way and then the minecarts come back. Works pretty cool. 
Okay, so now that we have that achievement and that piece of ground is now planted again, and I am no longer have that diamond hoe, we let's go use this uh, white concrete. So I've done some work at the uh, the Nether Fortress here, which I'll show you in a moment. Let me grab some uh, some fire resistance potions because it can be very handy here and. Oh, I need one other thing. I added some uh, chests here so that I can take care of things a little bit more easily and get access to my ender chest. So I need this, my Smite 5 sword. So it's Smite 5 looting 3. It's kind of useful here because with the, uh, the strength 2 beacon, which I'll pick up when I come over here, then I can one-shot the pigmen. Very important. Hello. Oh, so I added, I, I changed some things in the nether here. I don't think I've shown this before, but let me show you again anyway. Oops, put this over here. Hi. So I, I went in and closed things, right? I put glass around the outside. And <laughs> uh, VexFX noticed the achievement. So I put glass around the outside and I chose, hey, you can't even hit me. Why, why are you even shooting at me? Um, I, I chose pink glass thinking it might be a little bit lighter. So it'll make it a little easier to see the wither skeletons which is a bit of a problem, especially when I had the nether brick fence around the outside. And then of course, uh, since I only had one row of it, the gas could still shoot in. And then I had the top open. So when the, the blazes went aggro on you, they would fly up, which was less than uh, convenient. Hey, 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 I'm trying to record a video here. I'm so glad the uh, the blazes don't anger the pigmen anymore. But see here with my uh, with my smite five sword and double check that I've got my strength two, I can one shot the pigmen, which makes this a whole lot more livable than than it is normally. Hey, of course it doesn't do as good a job as the as the sharpness five sword against these guys but you know hey ah let me just take care of these guys real quick i wonder if i can put sweeping edge on this sword if it would do any good so the whole idea here is to be able to see the wither skeletons against the uh the fortress background here and it's a little tough you can see it, it's still dark here and I thought maybe there was a wither skeleton over here, but it just turned out to be a. Uh, oops. It just turned out to be these magma cubes. Oh, come on. Okay, let me take care of these guys. And then I have an idea about replacing the floor. Because right now the floor is still the nether brick, which is all fine and dandy. But I was thinking maybe replacing the floor with the white concrete will increase the contrast even more to so make it a little bit easier. Oh, come on. I'm trying to shoot the blaze, not you guys. Make it a little bit easier to find the, uh, the mobs in here. See them from a distance, especially. So here's a perfect example. Uh, even against the pink, the pink it makes it a little easier to see these guys, but they're still a little bit difficult to see. So, I want to see if we can improve the situation a bit. No one over there. Hi. Yeah, come here. Give me a head. No head. Okay. So, here's my thought. Let me, I'm going to go and I'm going to take out some of the floor here and replace it with white concrete. So 
So let me swap this here. Oh, my inventory is getting full. Goodness. And uh, this nether brick, I can lose it. That's fine. What new recipes do I have now? Is it because I picked up some nether brick? I don't know why I have new recipes. That's way to, one way to compact your inventory a little bit. Drink more potions. Hi. Let me kill you. There we go. Pick up your blaze rods and experience. Stop shooting at me. Okay, let's see. I replaced the floor over here. I, with a, I used up a stack of the white concrete. I think that's going to make a huge difference. Let's see if we can get some guys to spawn over there. And see if we can uh, see them a little bit more easily than we were able to before. The blazes are no different, are no problem, of course, because they glow and they're on fire. I'm glad the arrows don't have an area of effect. Okay, so double check we're using the right sword and be very careful. Get rid of these guys one at a time. You can split up a little bit, guys. Hi. Why don't you, uh, why don't you split up a little bit? You don't need to be standing right next to each other. It's not necessary for reals. There we go. Isn't that better? Okay, let's see. Let's do a couple laps and see what we get. Besides more blazes. See, the I, there's a wither skeleton standing right there, and there may be more than one of them. No, just one. It's so hard. Hey, come on. Shoot. The blaze. There we go. Difficult to tell. Hi, dude. Oh, I have an idea. Let me see if I can lead him over here. Yeah, he's so hard to see. But if I get him over here... Come on, over here. You were, you were tracking me. How do I get out of here quickly now? Make sure I don't hit it. And Pikmin, run! Yeah, I guess that helps a little bit. He's a little more visible. Not super awesome. I may have to replace the pink glass with something else like white glass. I may have to do that. Hi, come here. Can you give me your head, please? Uh, okay, well, that was worth a try. Said we may have to replace all this glass. Okay. Okay, one more player. Come on, one more contestant. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Do I have space in my inventory? No, of course I do not. What don't I need to carry with me? I don't need this coal. There we go. Got a wither skeleton skull. Awesome. Okay, well, at least I accomplished something here. Hopefully that was at least somewhat interesting. Uh, learned a little bit. Well, uh, I'll, I'll do, I will replace the floor with the white concrete because it does make things easier to see. Just not as much as I was hoping, so. I think that's it. Th that was all the notes I had in my, in my notebook here. So, and I think that will be plenty. So we will go brew up some replacement potions here and oh I can go get that coal now
because I'm a hoarder, at least in Minecraft, if not the real world. Cool. Okay. Anyway, I think that that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope it was at least somewhat interesting. And I will see you next time on Minecraft Land Party. Bye.